Good morning, everybody. This is Nagishwara, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Alan Asmari Education Society's Group of Institution, Hyderabad. As today, we will discuss one topic from Transportation Engineering of First Unit, and that is Highway Development and Planning. From long back, we are discussing from First Unit only. So, this is a another topic that is the highway drawings and reports so this is the another topic guys we will discuss yeah from that topic the following drawings are usually prepared in a highway project so which kind of drawings is there and which type of report is there we will discuss so around uh, 9 to 10 points is there from highway drawings so that is a key map index map Preliminary survey plans, detailed plan and longitudinal section, detailed cross section, land acquisition plan, drawings of cross, cross drainage, drawings of cross drainage and other retaining structure, drawings of road intersections, land plans showing twice, etc. So, guys, this is the information and we will discuss one by one the first one is key map so key map should show the proposed and existing roads and important place to be connected the size of the plan generally should not exceed 22 by 20 centimeters so guys this is the key map and we will show in on existing road only and coming to the second one is the index map and here general index map shows uh, topographic of the area so the main motto is shows the topographical area the details are symbolically represented so in this uh, place and guys and coming to the next one is the preliminary survey uh, here details of the various alternate alignments and all information collected should be normally and drawn to scale of 10 centimeter is equal to 1 kilometer to 25 centimeter because that is a 1 kilometer so we need to take all the alternatives for the alignment zone and guys next one is the detailed plan and longitudinal section uh, detailed plan here means ground plan with alignment and the boundaries contours at an interval of 1 to 2 meters then longitudinal section should be drawn to the same horizontal scale of the ground as in detailed plan. Vertical scale may be enlarged 10 times of the longitudinal scale. So we need to draw everything according to the horizontal as well as the vertical ways. And guys coming to the next point is a detailed cross section. So here generally drawn to natural scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 2 to 2.5 meter cross section and should be drawn every 100 meter uh, or are where there are abut change in level in hill roads and the cross section should be drawn at a, a closer intervals only guys this is information next land acquisition plans and it's a uh, Schedule also you can say usually prepared from the survey drawings for land acquisition details. Obviously correct. According to the survey only, we need to collect how much we need to require. These plans show all general details such as buildings, wells, and nature of uh, gradients and other detailed requirements for assessing the values. So uh, this uh, process from uh, surveyor only according to that only we need to collect all the information and all those things and uh, guys next is the uh, 
uh, drainage and other uh, retaining structure we can say here these are generally drawn to scale of 1 cm is equal to 1 meter scale but detail of any complicated portion of the structure in larger scale up to 8 cm is equal to 1 meter we can say here the um, the work and cross section of uh, streams uh, should be to a scale of uh, not less than 1 cm is equal to uh, 10 meter guys that is the drainage pattern and coming to the drawing of road and sections prepared showing all details of pavement shoulders islands etc to scale so we need to uh, show uh, when we are doing the drawing work help of scale this is a point and land plans and showing and why this guys this is another uh, information where queries for construction material are to be acquired for new project and separate land plan should be prepared so this is the information um, next this only estimation the major estimation should consist of general abstract of cost and detail estimation for the each project and if the project work is proposed to be executed in a stage then the estimation should be prepared for the every stage separately so if continuously it is uh, uh, chosen one then we can prepare only one estimation but we are doing stage wise so then only we need to estimate uh, stage wise only then it is good for us and coming to the next topic is the project reports the project report forms an important part of the project documentation so it also uh, some of the points is there we will go through general details of the project and its importance so in report in the sense general details we need to make and uh, their importance and everything will be uh, located in the matter and future of the roading including selection of the route and alignment and traffic etc this is the very important route and alignment as well as the traffic condition these three parameters are important one. and coming to the next one is road design and uh, specification road design is uh, much important depend upon the soil condition so we need to uh, construct the thickness more or less we need to uh, think. And coming to the next one is the and drawing the sorry, drainage facilities and uh, cross drainage structure so drainage facility we need to give and cross drainage structure means uh, in some place we are uh, constructing road uh, for the canal so on that particular position we need to uh, do this work and coming to the next one is the materials, labor, and equipment. So this is also on point. Then next uh, rates for every material rate. And next uh, construction programming. Construction programming. And other miscellaneous items like uh, diversion road, traffic control, roadside uh, amenities and rest house etc so these everything picks up in the project report so guys uh, this is the information regarding uh, highway drawings and uh, project uh, reports thank you